Ladies and gentlemen, we are waiting to watch the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer trailer, official gameplay trailer. So excited for this. It's dropping a bit early before the COD Next event itself, which I was quite surprised about. I did not expect to see it this soon. I thought we were definitely going to be getting all the gameplay trailer stuff for COD Next, but I guess they wanted to hype us up beforehand. I'm excited to see what's going to be in this. Hopefully we get some blog posting as well that's going to give us some more information on the game. But I'm assuming most of the stuff's just going to come with COD Next. And just for today, we're just going to be seeing just the gameplay trailer itself. So let's get into this. This better be good. Whoa. I'm going to have to break this thing down hard because there's going to be a lot that's going to be popping up. I feel like we got Terminal already. Is it, well, this is a weird trailer already. Okay, high rise. I don't know. Oh, we got Eminem. Damn. That was Makarov. They're showing us the operators, I guess. Favela. I mean, it obviously, it looks gorgeous. I expected no less. <laughs> Estate. They look gorgeous. Is that derail? Damn. Wait, wait, wait. Which map has elevators again? Usable elevators. I forget about that. I don't think there was a multiplayer map with usable elevators in Mon Over 2. Am I forgetting? Ooh, look at that thing. Is that like a butterfly knife? Da Yo, they just showed us diamond? Is that diamond's like camo? Like on this on the character operator too? Damn, I think they just showed us diamond. And that's a cool looking EMP type thing. That's what it looked like. Oh, we can see the HUD! I didn't think they'd show us the HUD. Nice! I mean, it looks like Modern Warfare 2's HUD, if we're gonna be honest. <laughs> but, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Damn, so that's that 3v3 v mode, right? Yeah, the shots a lot. Oh, this is the ground war. Oh! The elevators must be in ground war. That's probably what that was. I, I forgot about ground war and the war mode. Tanks and shit. Holy crap. Oh, they're showing us the wacky skins already. <laughs> All right, we got to break that shit down, man, because that, that's a lot to take in. Okay, let's break this shit down now. I'm going to just go through this trailer, see what we can see. So first shot here just looks like a tank firing a shot. So that's got to be... Uh, if we're going to have tanks, obviously, there's going to be the ground war modes. It's not going to be in regular 6v6. Um, just really cool shots here. Terminal, obviously. Oh, confirms the riot shield right there. I don't like the riot shield, but that does confirm that it is going to be in the game. <laughs> um, well, I guess it was in Modern Warfare 2, right? So it's just, just going to carry over. There's a Is that a G36C? I guess it's the Holger from MW2019 returning. Um, all right. And then these shots of high rise look cool. This is like probably going to be like the, the creative class room, like, you know, the menu screen, kind of like what Cold War looked like. Obviously, that's Makarov right there. And you got, you know, price and stuff. All right. So a lot of new guns are showing off, obviously, as you would expect. This was a cool shot, though. Look at this. So he gets thrown to the ground, but then he like jumps up. I don't know if that means anything, but it looked cool. And then we have a little flying drone there, so that's going to be a score streak, obviously. Um, some shots of favela. This looks like derail. Yeah, that's derail. All the maps look quite different. I want to see that diamond camo because they. Sh I think they showed us diamond, or at least it was very similar. So this is the elevators I was talking about. That must be on a ground war or war map. This is that diamond? No, that doesn't. I don't think it's diamond, but it, it does look very similar to a diamond esque skin of some sort. Um, they showed a lot of skins. Like, look at these. These are a lot of unique looking things. Uh, and then we have, oh, there's like a swarm drone type thing. I think it's probably just a hunter killer. I think that was confirmed in the game. We got sub base here, some underwater stuff. Obviously that's going to be in the ground war stuff or no, that that's in sub base. Oh, that's literally on sub base, right? So I guess there's going to be some swimming elements in subbase, maybe? And this is like a little Cerberus-type thing. 
cool looking knife. And this this was what I was talking about before. I don't think this is diamond, but no, it could be diamond. That has potential to be diamond. I don't know if it's for sure diamond, but it definitely looks like diamond. Underpass looks gorgeous. Wait a minute. He 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 didn't have his mask on, but then all of a sudden it went on. You see what I mean? Like in this shot, he doesn't have it on, and then it just like appeared on him. I don't know if that's a mistake or if that's just like how the skin works. Maybe it's like a reactive skin that changes as you get more kills. Oh, is that a juggernaut? I think that is a juggernaut. And then we had launch initiated. And it launched that thing. Okay. The EMP thing here. I think that's what that is. That looks pretty cool. Okay, here's a first shot of the HUD. So, yeah, it looks just like the Modern Warfare 2 HUD, which is kind of unfortunate. I really do wish it was very unique and different. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's got the compass. It's got the mini-map. At least we're going to have red dots on the mini-map, so that's a huge positive. I like the, the font, though, the font of all the different numbers and, and stuff. It looks pretty cool. But... Very similar to HUD to what we've ex we'd expect to see. Um, this does confirm that kill streaks are going to be in the game, as you can see with the kill streaks there. That's a UAV four kills, but I'm hopeful. I, I'm pretty sure it's like confirmed at this point. We're going to get the toggles, so you can turn them into score streaks, of course. Which I kind of just prefer it was just score streaks to begin with. I don't really see the point of it being like that. So what is this here? So he. Came around. Oh, he shot at C4. Which, and then like the word XP just jumps on his screen. It doesn't really like say how much XP. It just says XP. I don't know. I like that it's yellow though. That looks cool. I have another shot here. What gun is this by the way? Um, I don't really know what gun this is. I can't tell. This is definitely a UMP though. Striker 45. He's got bombs, it looks like. Looks really cool. It's a clean HUD for sure. I'm not like mad about the HUD. I just wish it was more unique compared to last game. Oh, is that the... Oh, the legend... People were saying that the hanging feature is not returning, but you can see this guy is doing it right here. Like the ledge hang... He's literally doing it right here. So I guess that leak was wrong then. People said it wasn't in the game. And then here's that 3v3v3 mode, which is probably going to be fun. It looks like it's going to be fun. This guy's jumping off the thing. <laughs> Got parachutes. So this is going to be that ground war mode, obviously. And I'm assuming it takes place in the new war zone map. This probably is the new Warzone map. I guess that's our first look at it. This doesn't look like Verdansk or anything, right? This is a new... Oh, no. is That's Russian, right? I Actually, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know, man. The state, this guy's just running in. We got some tanks and, again, the ground war mode. This this is crazy that those are showing this off in the, in the, the multiplayer trailer, though. They've, like, never shown off, like, goofy skins... In the, the camp, the you know, this trailer. I guess they're just letting you know right off the bat, like, don't take this game too seriously from the get go because we're gonna have some crazy shit. So, apparently, the maps to play in the beta are going to be Favela, Skid Row, Estate, Rust, and High Rise, which will be available for the second week. Nice. I mean, Favela is definitely one of my favorite maps. Same with Rust on High Rise. Estate, I can care less about, but you know, whatever. I guess we gotta get all sorts of different types of maps here, so that's fine. Oh, so it's a vault weapon, it's not a diamond camo. Okay. Cool, I, I guess. I mean, it's, it's fine by me. All right. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. I will see you all in my next one. Peace out.